hello guys welcome back to my youtube channel and if this is your first time seeing this beautiful face my name is deborah and i'm a nigeria based youtuber in this video i'm going to be talking about things i wish i knew before studying computer science well i realized that i've not been that open to you guys about my school well if you don't know yet i'm studying computer science and i'm currently in my final year <laughs> yeah I'm going to my final year and I'm going to be documenting this final year for you guys, okay? I'm going to be doing a lot of videos documenting my final year as a computer science student in Nigeria. So get ready, stick around. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so, okay? So you don't miss out. So worry guys, I have lots of juice for you. Just stick around with me, okay? So our first video for this year is going to be things I wish I knew before studying computer science in nigeria university <laughs> and other thing i'm currently not with my mic and my chair is making some funny sound okay so please pardon the sound pardon the bed just pardon every other noise you can hear okay i have to make this video and i can't wait for my mic so let's get right into the video the number one thing i wish i knew before studying computer science is i won't be learning how to make websites and apps yes i wish i knew that it's very common for people to think that oh you can actually know how to build websites and develop apps once you tell them that you are studying computer science but the truth is nobody's going to teach you that that's the truth nobody's going to teach you how to develop websites or build apps or else you go out and learn those things yourself that's just the simple truth the second thing is i wish i knew i'll be doing lots of theoretical courses not practical courses yes theory not practical most people tend to think that computer science is all about practical 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 well i don't know about that but the computer science degree that i'm currently doing <laughs> has to do with lots of theory theory courses like operating system networking data structure and algorithm and all of that stuff and trust me it's not practical the third thing is <laughs> i wish i knew that most of the programming courses i'll be doing will most likely be outdated yes what's most likely they're outdated you know this until i started you know checking out developer jobs online and i was seeing requirements programming um, language requirements like react node.js next.js and what i was actually doing in school was kobo in my second year i did kobo i did on um, fortran tell me who uses kobo again and let me tell you, if you ask most of my classmates right now, like, tell me what, what is Node, what is React, they won't know because nobody's going to teach you those languages in school. That actually taking us of detailed programming courses and I wish Nigerian universities would do better. Yes, because guys, if you are currently studying computer science and you are depending on your degree, to get a developer job, trust me, you will come out and you will see Shege. <laughs> so we can go out and outsource and learn those things yourself. The fourth thing is, <laughs> this is actually funny. I wish I knew I'll be writing lots of code on paper. Yes, Nigeria universities. Yes, I have been writing code on paper from my first year. Abi, no, I think my first year I wrote my exams with computer, so I didn't do much writing. But from my second year, I was writing codes of paper. Like, a lecturer will give you a exam question, like write a program on this disease, and you'll be writing the codes on paper. Like, who does that? How I mean, how are you going to know if if the codes run or not? That is why you see that most students, like even me too, I do lots of cramming. I have to go and be cramming codes because I have to give the lecturer what he gave to me back. Because if let's say now, yeah, you 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 have to learn programming on your own and you know some things, and you go and write the things you know on the book, and that and, and what you know is not what the, the the lecturer knows. He's going to fail you. So most of them actually cram codes because they have to give back what the lecturer gave to them. Obviously, he's not going to test it. So just give him what he gave to you to avoid troubles. That's just it. So I wish Nigerian universities would do better, please. This is the last one. I wish I knew that being a software engineer is not the only career path. Yeah, I actually knew this in my second year, I think. Yeah, being a software engineer 
Ah, oh, the beds. Sorry for the noise, please. Being a software engineer is not the only career path, even though it's the most common option. Yeah, but trust me, there are a lot of other options. If you are studying computer science and you don't know what to do, there are other options like product manager, UI US designers, data analysts, just lots and lots of options. So just do your research and choose the one that you're most interested in. Don't go and follow the call because you see that everybody is saying software engineer and software engineer and developer, developer. You want to follow them, trust me. You, you get stuck on the way. So just do your research and do the one you are most, most interested in. Yeah. All right, guys, we have come to the end of today's video. I hope you enjoy watching. I know you enjoy watching. So just subscribe if you have not. Don't forget to like and just comment. Say something, okay? If you enjoy watching, just say something. And if you are currently studying computer science, just comment and tell me the things you wish you knew before studying computer science and if you are about to start this journey <laughs> journey of no return <laughs> just comment too and if, if you also have questions asked you can just ask in the comment section and i'll reply or better still make a video about it okay bye i'll see you in my next video bye